What's up, ladies and journey spoons? Welcome back to Near Automata. Honestly, I'm loving this game so much. We're here in the theme park. And if I can just remember how the heck to get out of this room, uh, we still have a few more stamps to collect. So last time we ended up fighting a whole bunch of really high level um, machines down underneath the theme park. Uh, I actually cannot remember how many stamps we still have to do. So let's check that real quick. Stamp collecting is at the bottom right. We still got two more stamps to go. I think I know where those are. So one more of those has to be um, in the actual theme park. And then the other one, from, judging from the map, is behind that gate somehow. Woo! Explosion of music. Okay. I guess it's because we're really having a celebration today. Look at that. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, so what we did when we went inside is we went to the right underneath the stairs. We haven't been upstairs or to the left. So... Uh, I, looks like there's nothing down to the left. So, uh, uh, hang on. Is there anything through here? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Uh, I've been playing some other games recently and I keep forgetting which buttons do which. It seems to change from game to game. So um, I keep accidentally pressing the wrong things. But um, yeah. Okay, so I looked this up. Okay, well, we could open that chest. I was going to say, I looked this up because some of the chests we haven't been able to open. Turns out that's because you can only open them on your second time through. So uh, we definitely will need to come back to them the second time we play. Which is a thing, apparently. <laughs> Okay, everyone's waiting for the show to start from the looks of it. Oh. <laughs> That's so sweet. You know, it took me forever to realize that means why are you Romeo, not where are you Romeo? <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that's not the, the next line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is getting pretty funny now. <laughs> there's two Romeos and two Juliets. Oh, now there's three Juliets. No ways, don't fight, guys. What? What the hell? This is like real lovers squa squabble, guys. Jeepers. Do we have to join in? I hope we don't have to. Is this... Oh my goodness, guys. Whoa, this is getting vulgar. TF, man, like seriously. Um, well, I suppose this marks the end of our production. <laughs> well, of I suppose. <laughs> please watch your step as you exit. If you'd like to have your car stamped, oh my please God. come this way. Wow. I don't even have any words, guys. What the hell did I just witness? Man, that was freaking crazy. You know, this is why I like this game so much. It's just so hilarious. I can't believe... Wow. It, you know, it just goes to show... Like, I don't want to stereotype these robots and say they're violent, but... I mean, they're not exactly failing to live up to that stereotype, right? I came all the way here from the village to see this play everyone's been talking about. It. Yeah, and they all died. I haven't been this deeply moved by anything be before. Seriously? I'm going to go home and tell all my friends... I'm pretty sure the original Romeo and Juliet was way better than that. I mean, that was funny, but... So this is a piece of literature from the old world? Hmm. 
I believe it speaks of the cruelty of mankind. Oh my goodness. Whoa, so that's what they think survived through to our age? Wow. Okay, so they're not violent after all. It's just it's the play itself. But except they kind of actually killed each other on, on the stage, which I think is kind of scary. <clears throat> this play doesn't make any sense at all. No, you're right. It doesn't. I'm, that is not Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, Juliet, Juliet. Just thinking of you makes my core all warm and fuzzy. Okay, thanks for telling me that. <laughs> uh, so we started out with three Romeos and three Juliets, and now there are none. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. How poetic. <laughs> I mean, they are all supposed to die in the end, but I'm pretty sure it's not like that. <laughs> all right, money obtained and other items. Bravo, truly a most spectacular performance. Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. Let's get our um, stamp. Here you are. Thank you, mate. I came all the way from the big city to see this shitty play. Quite literally, though, I'm not even joking there. <laughs> well, I guess it was kind of worth it. So what I was talking about, about the chest that I don't think you can... Okay, hang on. Let's not be that enthusiastic. About the chest that you can't open are these ones. So I don't know how it is that you open them on your second time through. Actually, this whole thing of playing the game multiple times, I'm very confused by. But I obviously don't spoil it for me because I'm... I want to be surprised by whatever this mechanic is, this game mechanic that everyone keeps referring to, about having to play the game multiple times and it being different each time. Um like deliberately different not like randomly different um so i'm excited to see what that is and how exactly that ties into i don't know maybe he plays different characters or something i can't think of any other way that you know you'd be in a situation where you can do different things and the story plays out differently i don't know maybe you see the same story from different characters perspective who knows somewhere here there has to be a stamp because it's on the map do you have the stamp good sir angry machine don't tell me you're gonna have to fight you mate Back off, asshole! We machines are alive! You got that? You should die. All of you should die. This goddamn stamp should die too. Um, I think we're gonna have to fight this guy. Oh, we got the stamp after all. Okay. Never mind. Okay, now, where do we have to go to hand in the stamp collecting? Okay, let's do that now, because we are here at the front, so it makes sense anyway. Seeing as I don't know if we can go to the front of the theme park anymore because, um, whoo, that music is so loud. Because we have, uh, we got that big explosion in the middle of the city. So I don't know if we can actually come around the front anymore. So we might as well get this done now and then move on to other things. Hey, you got all the stamps. Great job. Did you enjoy your time here? Or maybe not. Well, I mean, it was a mixed bag, right? The play was nice. <laughs> Well, it doesn't really matter, though. I'm sure you realize that by now. Whether or not you enjoy something simply depends on your own heart. Yeah, you know. This place is but a mirror that reflects one's true self back at them. Anyway, here you go. One deluxe prize coming up. Come again anytime. Fast cooldown plus three. Uh, broken circuit, large recovery pressure. 5,000 G! What is the G, guys? I still don't know what the G stands for. That was so cool. Okay, let's um, let's have a look at plug-in chips. Uh, cooldown plus three is what we're looking for. Okay, we got weapon attacks up and shockwave. Increase the power of down attacks. We might actually use that at some point because um. Now that I think about it, uh, we uh, we fought those last robots in the previous episode just by doing down attacks. Um, but it's only 4%. That's 10% and 8%. And it's any weapon attack, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So down attack is a specific one, so we don't need to really worry about that, I guess. Range attacks up, all these things. Critical up, well, it's only 1%. I don't know if that really makes much difference. Countering would be nice, but I think we got to get more practice at it. Um, it's not like other games where you just tap dodge at the right time. You actually have to move towards an enemy attack with perfect timing to counter it. 
and the looks of it. I don't know if you all set to dodge at the same time, but... Charge attacks increased. Wow, 160... Oh, 260%, so by 60%. Nothing here about cooldowns. Let's, um... Check defense. Deadly heal, that's where you get hit points for every attack, which is very useful. I'm not taking that off at all. Anti-chain damage. Turn invincible for two seconds after taking damage. Well, might actually be useful in certain cases. Hit points up would be useful. Deadly heal, blah, blah, blah. What is that? 5%. Plus 2. What does the little star next to these things mean? Um, is that like a special one that has less storage or something? Deadly heal is for every enemy defeated. Offensive heal is for damage dealt. Okay, every... Yeah, deadly heal is way more useful than offensive heal, I guess. If there's lots of enemies. Uh, reset plus one. Five percent chance of reviving and 20% of hit points upon death. Auto heal after six seconds of not taking damage. Restore such and such percent per, per second. Might be useful at some point, but we don't have a lot of space. At some point, we need to find somewhere to buy more storage space. Um, I think there was somewhere, but... I'm not sure where. Evade range, movement speed, experience gain, auto use item, yes. Fast cooldown, reduce pod pro. Ooh, 17! That's a lot! Evade range up. 17 is so much, there's gotta be a way to reduce this. Drop rate up, experience gain up. Yeah, but that's 10 shapers, and we also got plus 3 already. Stuff is so... Sorry, wait, hang on. This stuff is so... Oh, those are easy use ones. This stuff is so, so expensive, like, in terms of space. Can't believe I, um... Can't believe, like, I didn't think about that uh, when I was... <laughs> the previous times, but, like, that is seriously a big factor to think about. Alright, so... Hang on, we gotta pick up over here. So I am avoiding going to the city because I'm, you know, I'm delaying the main quest right now for um, a little bit. It's only temporary while we finish up all the side quests. So we have one more in the city we got to do. And um, after we are done in the city, we have, uh, we have a bunch of side quests in the desert. So hopefully it's not much longer. It's, it's nice doing the side quests because you get to fill out the world. So I'm not complaining. Um, and once we're done with the desert side quest, we should be able to do um, the main quest. So I did some reading because I, for, for some reason, I thought there was a fast travel. Uh, at the moment, there's only fast travel between the resistance camp and I think the satellite that we all uh, fly down to the world from. Um, but the reality is that uh, there is actually a fast travel. We just don't get access to it until later there's some moment in the story where you unlock fast travel around the world and in the meantime you just have to run around to do all your quests unfortunately it was is what it is but you know what i'm actually to be honest i'm actually okay with it um i don't mind it that much because you know uh you can run pretty fast and travel the world pretty fast and the world's pretty small at this point i guess when the world becomes a lot bigger it'll it'll be the kind of thing that would be quite inconvenient but um, there's also something charming about running around the world, you know, and exploring it and all that stuff. Um, still don't know what the point of fishing is. That's one thing I still need to look up. Okay, I uh, just want to have a look at the map to figure out where... Oh, hang on. To figure out where we are going. Woo! Okay, hang on. Let's get the orientation right because I was very confused. So, um, that's the main quest there. We want to avoid that. We're going to come over to... There is something there on the map. Oh no, that's that's part of the server. We need to be level 30, I think we said, for the next one. Because last time we fought him, he was level 30. And he's going to be level 45 or something this time. Um, so family squabble we want to do now. I think this was those robots that ran away from the machine village. And then we might try Jackass's research, depending on the levels of the characters. It might be too high. Um, and then we're going to come down to Resistance Disappeared. And whatever that is, hang on, let's zoom out, I'm way too close. And mysterious letter, and photographs, and 
retrieve the confidential intel. So let's just double check what all those quests were. Family squabble. Uh, for the mother machine sent us on this quest. A small child ran away from Pascal's village after an argument with his mother, who is now desperate for your help. Go to the city ruins and bring the child back in one piece. And then resistance disappeared was um, uh, one of the, the resist resistance camp women claims that her friend is missing. Uh, we looked in the material storage site. It says now investigate the location at the coordinates inscribed on the storage site wall. Okay, Jackass's research. Oh, hang on. Uh, we fought a lot of guys. Um, we need to defeat the target machines in 30 seconds without taking damage. I don't know. We might need to be a higher level for that. Uh, we'll, we might. We can p start it along the way when we go there and then see if we're the right level for it. And then uh, we're not going to do speed star for a while. I think we want to come back to that later. Photographs was... Um, um, there's a resistance camp girl who's lost her memories. We need to get three locations and get the photos of them. Uh, so one of those will get on the way. Um, retrieve the confidential intel after handing over the plug-in chips. Uh, the resistance member seems happy, saying he'll introduce his family the next time you meet. And mysterious lady received a sudden mail from an unknown source containing three coordinates. They seem to point at locations in the desert, the flooded city, and the forest. Investigate the coordinates. Right. Uh, oh, whoa, I did not know this menu existed. What the heck? Why did they not tell me about this? That is so cool, guys. Whoa. So this is how you, ah, this is how you use items in combat. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So I guess if like, I'm in re like, like really in a lot of trouble, we could use this. So... Yeah, if we need a boost, I guess. This is what we'll use. That's amazing. And the recoveries for health and... That's so cool. Why didn't I know about this? That's crazy. And you can see all your stats, how much money... It wow, we got a lot of money. Maybe we can give some money to the half-wit inventor the next time we see him. Wow. This is so useful. So I guess if you're in a, in a combat situation and you really need the boost, this is useful. Um, you know, the melee attack up might be useful for uh, Jackass's research, but the question is, will we actually do anything useful with that in the time limit that we have? Because if you get hurt once, that's it, you know? Um, is there an invincibility thing we could use to uh, cheat our way through the quest so we don't get hurt? Doesn't look like it. It's all speed stuff and staggering. Yeah. And then if you go up, you can actually change your part, I guess. But we only got one part at the moment. And then you can change your equipment. Yeah, and you can actually go into the weapons menu and everything. What the heck? Okay, sorry. The reason I was doing this was I wanted to have a look. Um, just triple check. Um... Retrieve the confidential intel. That's the next time we meet the resistance guy. But what we're looking for is the mysterious letter. It has three coordinates. That's coordinate one in the desert. Uh, that's photographs. And then there's some unknown quest over here. There are some other... Okay, there's the other coordinates. So that's got to be either the flooded city or the forest. Oh, that's the flooded city. But we can't get through there because we can't get through that side of the resistance camp. So we'll probably have to get to that later. But for now, let's go sort out the child or whatever it is, the family squabble that's going on. How's it, guys? Here to meet your doom, I guess. I love these weapon attacks. They're so cool. Okay. Heading through the shade of the trees, down the avenue, to the quest, which is on the left, I believe. Hopping up. Oh no, she's in trouble. Careful, Tubi. I'm picking up hostels. Where is she? Is, is she in here? Or is she down in the street? It looks like she's down Over in there. There she is. 
Yo, hey, leave my friend alone. Are you okay? Easy there, little guy. It's all right. You weren't scared, were you? I can't believe like machines are fighting each other. That's not a good sign. We should leave before more enemies arrive. Agreed. Come okay, well, on, hang on. Kid. Don't run Don't away be from unreasonable. home. Any ideas to be? I've never dealt with a snot-nosed machine before. Why is it? Why are all androids so rude? <laughs> uh oh, more enemies incoming. I'm on it. All right, y'all want to fight? Y'all want to just like fight no matter what? Yo, let's let's not attack. Come on. I was accidentally attacking the wrong guy. Which is absolutely not my intention. Just have to be careful who you shoot at this point. Is that everyone? Tell me that's all the bad guys. I don't want to kill the, the lost machine for no reason. Lost child was its name? Lost machine? Are you finished? Come on, Your let's go home. Is worried about you. She sent us here to find you. So quit with the whining and let us take you home already. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, we have to escort you then? Well, I hope nothing happens along the way, because your health Stay is close, already right? pretty low. Don't go wandering off. Hey, mister. What's about me? She yeah, sure was. very so worried. So let's go home and have you apologize, all right? Like, she's worried enough to send androids to fetch you instead of machines. You hop so slow, dude. <laughs> It is frustrating in this game how you can target allies. I wish they had designed it so that that didn't happen automatically. You know what I mean? Because um, you can like accidentally hurt them, which is really frustrating. Okay, seriously, <laughs> you are hopping so slowly, mate. Oh, great. And we got a whole bunch of you guys now. All right, let's take y'all out. No, wrong one. I hate how like it keeps targeting the lost machine. That's so messed up. Like it causes more drama than than you need, you know. Poor guy. If they die, do we get to like repeat the quest, or, or is that like it? Is this one of those things where? Uh, this does feel like the kind of game where, um, if they die, um, they, it'll be planned like as, as a story event. Okay, who's attacking us now? Seriously? Like, seriously. I can't even, like, attack y'all because y'all are in the air as well. It's, like, a bit of an unfair combat situation if you ask me. All right, let's, uh, I know he's running off, but let's just go pick up these extras real quick. Oh, he's waiting for us at least. Whew, that's good. <laughs> Ignore me, I'm just collecting the extras while we go along. I hope these pigs or whatever they are don't attack. Please, just stay calm. Yeah, please stay calm. We we mean you no, no trouble. Oh, really? Oh, great! This guy's got a gun and he's shooting us and everything. 
I'll take that! I <laughs> bet you can't survive that, mate. <laughs> you okay? Okay, listen, Lauren. If the guy's got a gun, go for him first. Surely once we're through this gate, then, you know, you can handle yourself, right? Oh, there's Mama. Well, let's hope we don't all get attacked now. That would suck. Yay, you're back. Thank you so much for bringing him home. Selfish child, how dare you make me worry like that? She's like Mrs. Weasley. <laughs> uh, hey, no need to get all angry. But, dude, you're the one who, who called this, uh, this robot a brat. Like, seriously. Oh, don't be mean to mama. Oh, mommy, don't cry. Like, yeah, come on. Do you have any idea how worried I was? I'm sorry, mommy, please don't cry. I'm sorry too, my darling. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, mommy. What a sweet little family reunion. Go on, honey. Get yourself home. I have to thank these nice people for helping you. Oh, look at the dress. That's so interesting. It's got a little face painted on the dress. Okay. Bye-bye, androids. All right. There he goes. I swear. <laughs> Sometimes I think that child's mind is just a bunch of bolts rattling around an empty pail. <laughs> I never imagined how hard it would be to disconnect from the network. The network? Are we getting a bit of world building now? We're constantly misunderstanding each other. <gasps> oh, listen to the music, guys. It's so sweet. Still, on those rare occasions where we connect, it makes me so very happy. I can see that. Thank you again for bringing him home. This isn't much, but I'd very much like you to have it. What is it? Not much! That's a lot, dude! Deadly heal plus three. 10,000 gold! Seriously! Wow, that music, guys. That was something else. Mutual understanding without a network sounds tough. Without a network? What is this network we're talking about? I'm so confused. True, but it also seems kind of fun. Yeah, being a bit free of, of like control from others, I guess. Family squabble complete. <laughs> this music is so sweet, guys. It's like a little kitty singing. I love it. All right, so I guess that's it for this episode of Near Automata, guys. We ran a little bit over time, I believe. Um, or at least uh, according to my watch, I, I don't think it was that much over time. But um, I will see you guys next time. We're going to try and aim for the desert. So I guess I will see you at the entrance to the desert. Um, and we'll try and finish up those quests. And hopefully after that, we'll go visit the aliens. Um, I don't know if I want this music to stop. I'm just loving it so much. It's so sweet. Look at the moose. That's awesome. All right. See you guys next time on the Automata. Bye for now. <laughs>